This is Mena Laura Mayer, and she is an acclaimed director of documentary films. And in her films, and um, for which she has received numerous awards, um, children and young people um, play an important role. For one of her projects, um, one of her projects was a trilogy um, on young people, on love and uh, sex. And this series uh, won acclaim for the humor, the openness, and for the special use of images and uh, music. And this year, um, Mena will finish uh, We Margiela, a documentary on the fashion house of Martin Margiela. And she is also writing a book uh, on the house of Margiela. Welcome, Mena. Thank you. Um, Mena, We Margiela is your first film um, in the fashion world, but fashion wasn't the first reason you wanted to make um, this film. Why did you want to make it? Um, I think for me, the first reason why I really was interested in... Uh, the, first of all, it started, of course, with the story of Martin Margiela, mm -hmm. who was like this anonymous, not being there person. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to make a film about people who disappeared yeah. and who started a whole new life, like around 50, and it would never, you know, we wouldn't know who they are, completely new life. And so that's how he first of all popped up in my research. And, uh, of course, this film is totally impossible, not only of Margiela, but because people who disappear can never be interviewed, so that's a very <laughs> bad idea for so a film. <laughs> yeah. And so I started, I used the research we did for the house of for, for Martin Margiela, and we uh, refocused in a certain mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. to the house of Margiela, which is, I think, uh, at this time, a, of course, still a house that has mm -hmm. a really big influence on uh, uh, on the fashion world, but also what really interested me a lot was uh, the way that they uh, worked together, the way yeah. that they branded the house. Uh, yeah. And I think a lot of uh, idiom that the House of Magella used mm -hmm. is still very relevant here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're speaking about uh, anonymity, uh, yeah. privacy, mm -hmm. but also reusage. I mean, a lot of terms that you hear here uh, mm -hmm. in the previous conversations, of course, yeah. uh, were very relevant to the House of Margiela when they started. Yeah, but when they started, they didn't start as a, like your average uh, fashion house. They didn't have like business plans. They started in a all, whole other way and they worked as a group. Yeah. How did they do that? I must say that <laughs> that's all, yeah. Um, I, they started very small, that's what I know. They started yeah. very small mm -hmm. and of course Margiela and uh, Jenny Meiren started together. Um, and uh, it w for a long time it was a small house, though mm -hmm. they ac got a lot of acclaim really soon. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the way that they, um, the house evolved was like yeah, something you can't even imagine anymore for mm -hmm. now. Because they Do you think it would be possible today? Would it, I, I, we must say that the fashion world is not my mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, spe I d specialty, so I really look at them and uh, for me, like looking at the House of Margiela is really about looking uh, how we all work as creative people. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so uh, the whole idea of uh, uh, you know coming from school and being something, someone immediately, mm -hmm. knowing how to brand yourself, knowing your DNA, whatever, something that's really very complicated and also very complicated in relationship to uh, creativity and especially if you want to be an Autonome, yeah. I don't know. The independent. Thing. Independent uh, maker. Whatever yeah. maker you are, it eh? could be an artist, could be a filmmaker, could be a, a designer. And I think for me as a filmmaker, but also as a, mm -hmm. a maker in general, it was really interesting to look at this house that really, really worked on the long-term relationships. Mm -hmm. And also that found ways to create some sort of, I wouldn't really like, I don't really like the word of island, but a very secluded place mm -hmm. where they were free to do whatever they wanted. Yeah. And whatever they wanted wasn't necessarily related to sales, it wasn't mm -hmm. really related to money, it wasn't necessarily related to success mm -hmm. or fame, though I think all these things were very important. Uh, and for me as a filmmaker, and I think for, I hope for other makers too, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's important to look at how that was done then. Yeah. And I think at this time, 
I think it's very hard. Yes, this um, independence comes at a price. Yeah, Indep for them or for us now? Yeah, for them. Yeah, for them and now maybe even more. Yeah, I think for now, independence is priceless. I mm -hmm. mean, it's our, you could say the price is so high, mm -hmm. I don't know if that would still be possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, a, a lot of people, of course, are fascinated by this whole idea of being uh, anonymous. Mm -hmm. But if you really place it on yourself, mm -hmm. I mean, would you be willing to you know, pay the price for people not knowing who you are? Could you live up to that? Yeah. So um, it really comes with a price in that yeah. sense. That doesn't mean that, of course, they became mm -hmm. uh, highly acclaimed for what they did. Yeah. And how difficult was it um, to make this film? Because you couldn't interview um, Marta and Margiela. Did you try? No, no, mm -hmm. we never tried. Because uh, the, for us, I think that's also why the, the film is called We Margiela. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make a, a film about the group. Yeah. I wanted to make a film that was about the people who formed the we of the house. Yeah. And, and was it difficult to, to have the people talk, to interview them? How was the collaboration? Um, I, I, I was very hesitant in the beginning, but mm -hmm. it, it really went, I think, very well. Mm -hmm. So in, mm -hmm. we ended up filming in like six or eight months, and we filmed like 20 people yeah. who were all part at various the stages yeah. of the mm -hmm. uh, you know existence of uh, so we're talking about the old house of Margiela maybe we should explain that yes, so it's yes. the film starts in you know when it's uh, in the beginning at the end yes. Of, yes and then it sort of ends around the, uh, the selling of yeah. the house and uh, w yeah. around the 20th uh, exhibition which was the moment that uh, Margiela yeah. left himself mm -hmm. and Jenny Meyrens already had left them mm -hmm. she's really a, a big fan huh? They are, I think Lucia, Lucia is, was like his right hand of the design team of Margiela in Italy. And so the, with the lady with the gray hair is Miss Diane. Mm -hmm. And they are extremely passionate. I must say that Italians are extremely passionate about a lot of things. So it's, it's like a different kind of um, attitude, I think, also. But they are, it's like, you know... I've never met people who are so passionate in that sense. Also, you know, about, you know, clothes, fabric, the whole designing mm -hmm. process, the way of working together. And um, so that was really amazing. Yeah. And when you talked with all these people who worked at certain uh, stages um, at um, the house of uh, Margiela, um, how did it, they look back on it and did they have the same uh, feeling or hi did they tell the same stories about uh, did they have the same vision that's what i mean on the house hmm. well i think that when you look back and it's you're 25 years older yeah. mm -hmm. yes of course things have changed and mm -hmm. I, s I think you also look back in a different way and the whole selling of the company has done has meant a lot of things for different people in all different ways, but I mm -hmm. think that's a very strong emotion. Um, and also I think that for a lot of people who work there, I, I had the feeling that for them, they never envisioned them becoming very famous or being very important or very relevant. I think for, in a certain way, being there and working there together was very important and uh, not as much looking you know, ah, oh, but how will this work? How will it sell? Mm -hmm. uh, I can remember that we had an interview with Harley Hughes, who was the first menswear mm -hmm. designer, and he said, I've never heard the word money. And I said, but somebody must have said, we have no money, at least that. And they said, mm -hmm. no, they, uh, he said that, uh, so like Axel Keller, who was the commercial director, mm -hmm. never came in and said, ah, but this sells really well, you have to do more of this. And also that, Somebody like Margiela himself said, uh, you should do as you feel it. Yeah. Which is like really a very <laughs> weird, he works yeah. now at the McQueen. And uh, he it's after- completely went, different. Uh, completely, <laughs> after that he went to uh, Saint Laurent. So that was completely the opposite. But I think this is a very strong thing about the house of Margiela. Mm -hmm. And I think this whole, this whole way of looking at what you do and how also how you protect this creative process, but also how you 
can make this creative product mm -hmm. interesting because it's not really giving you all the answers, but it ha uh, is something that, of course, that Jenny Meyrens had a very strong vision about. She was the she uh, was very conceptual. Yeah, and I think that I think yeah. I'm, for me, it feels as if Margiela, of course, is a very unique designer, mm -hmm. but the combination with Myrens, who, who, who sort of gave it a very strong uh, conceptual twist, mm -hmm. and they never used the word conceptual, but I'm going to use it because of lack of a better word. So mm -hmm. but, uh, mm -hmm. I think that was a very strong feature. It was very much related to, uh, yeah, in a certain way. I, I, so when I asked to uh, Meyrens, mm -hmm. I said to Meyrens, so what's your definition of creativity? As a filmmaker, mm -hmm. as an artist, whatever, whatever you do in the world, you always want to know what's your definition of creativity. Okay. And, she and, had so, one. and Jenny said, for me, creativity is finding the solution that nobody else finds. Mm -hmm. But m when you find, and that's why I really like the first film. Yeah. I really like the first film. Because mm -hmm. when you find a solution that nobody has, it means that you're on your own. Mm -hmm. Because that's, yeah, that's the whole thing. Now we feel as if, ah, here is the best solution. I found it, nobody else has it, and every, people will recognize it. But that, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. And um, I think in that sense, the film can give a very strong insight of a story, of a, the construction of a house. And in a certain way, of course, also the demystification. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. when you look back 25 years later, we, we now, uh, Patrick Skellen, the PR uh, man, says, yes, everybody looks back with rose-tinted glasses, and mm -hmm. things were not like that. I mean, the shows were a mess. It was always very crowded. There was never enough mm -hmm. seating. People were fighting. Uh, people didn't want to publish uh, articles uh, mm -hmm. because they couldn't get an interview, an interview with the designer. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so there have been a lot of you know, other sides to it. And I think the film also shows, sort of shows yeah. some, yeah, so you know, what's underneath it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is very important because otherwise we all keep living with this sort of mythical thing of, oh, wow, you know, let's mm -hmm. do it like this. Let's have no, um, because I always, as an <laughs> outsider, I feel yes, that as I'm have sorry. a distance, yes. <laughs> yeah, but as an outsider, I always feel so, I know, so you have a show and then it goes to a store and then it comes to people. I know, let's do it differently. We, we do it immediately to the people. Mm -hmm. No, 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 let's do it differently. Let's make it very entertaining. Let's do it differently, you know, mm -hmm. but in a certain way, you're always following the paths of, yeah, money in a mm -hmm. certain way. Mm -hmm. And for a, f a maker, <laughs> a maker, a writer, I'm sorry, okay. yeah. <laughs> what is the most exciting thing uh, when you're a designer or a filmmaker, an artist, whatever, is having this feeling of doing something that's because you want to do this. Yes. So you have to move away mm -hmm. from all these, th you know, all these yeah. voices, all these things telling you, I mean, you should do this, you should do that. All the business plans. All the business. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. But then again, yeah, uh, I think Jenny Meyrens was, had a very, very strong vision on that. And yeah. she has a really enormous amount of, I don't know the nice word, balls. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> I think you sh and she really, yeah, constructed something yeah. in that sense. How yeah. do you see for like young designers or young makers the relevance of the house um, today in this age? Well, as I said, I think yeah. for, I, I make no difference in a certain way to people who design, people who make films, people who, you know, whatever. And I think we are all looking for this place where you can feel free and have the feeling that you create mm -hmm. because this is something you find important. Mm -hmm. And even that is the hardest thing there is. And therefore, it's sometimes very important to look at designers who have done that mm -hmm. and to uh, also really look at the courage and the, um, uh, the courage they had to do it their way. Yeah, the bold choices you have to make. Yeah, and also how to be so provocative and also to do things that you s knew would you know, irritate people, mm -hmm. would provoke people. And maybe um, and people say the audience in a certain way has changed, but uh, Patrick Skellen says somewhere, he said at that time, people 
like to be provoked. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a very relevant remark because yeah. I have the feeling at this time, people don't mm -hmm. like to be provoked. They like to yeah. be entertained. They like to have a feeling, but mm -hmm. not the feeling of provocation. Eh? They don't okay. like the feeling of, ah, what's this? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, you know, and we all think of maybe with that mom, uh, things have changed in a certain way. Uh, yeah. Of course, they changed a lot. But and when will you finish uh, uh -huh. the movie? Because we are very curious, and where will we see it? I hope it will be finished. Um, it must be bad luck to say so. Uh, knock on wood. I think yeah. I hope the end of the year. Unpainted wood. I hope the next yeah. at the end of the year. Okay. And, then, and the uh, book. And the book we're working on now, it's very close to the film and... Uh, so it will be to, um, released together? Uh, I wish we, we would have that good of planning. But okay. I'm not sure. I think it will be very much like, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So okay. Worry. We are really looking forward to seeing you. the film. Thank you. Very Thank you much. so much, Mena. Thank you.